all right, so it took me about a day to settle down. Um, I tried to do recordings yesterday, and I just couldn't do it. Literally, from the time I made the call to get my shuttle, to going to bed, literally, just everything went bad. It's like the world was on some kind of weird axis, and I kept running into crazy people all day long. Or maybe I was crazy. So, remember a video a while back um, that I made where I had to call the insurance company, I had to call the uh, shuttle company, and I had to call a couple other people and explain to them that if you're using a medical shuttle, that you should be protected during a pandemic taking stage four cancer patients to hospitals. Now, the insurance company, let's see, it's OPH, Pacific Source, and Logistic Care, those are the people involved, they all agreed. That is what should happen. And we'll make sure next time that's exactly what happens. So, after missing that really important CT scan the last time and have to reschedule, I called them this time in advance, set up the appointment, explained to them again, I'm stage four cancer, I need to make sure that a driver is protected. So, they said, oh yes, for sure, that's on the notes, that's not a problem, it's taken care of. I wake up, the guy calls, he's like, I need you to call me back and verify, you know, that you're, you need to ride to the hospital. I call him back. And I'm like, hey, yes. Yeah, so I just want to verify, you know, that you, you know, you have a mask or you're, you're wearing protection uh, since I have stage four cancer. And he literally said, I'm not sick. I don't have to wear a mask. I was like, wait a minute. You don't have to wear a mask. I was like, but dude, I'm, I'm stage four cancer going to a hospital. He's like, yeah, I'm not sick. I don't have to wear a mask. And he went, <clears throat> and I heard him cough on the, it's probably just, just, just <clears throat> normal shit that people do, but he let, this company, they did it again. After not only the whole breakdown of us having that conversation about it, but me then calling last week, explaining it and saying how important it was. And then they did it. Like that, That's what happened. So, directly after that, uh, one of them sent another driver in a cab. This driver shows up with no mask, no protection, no anything, in a big, like, cargo vehicle. So, I had to cancel that appointment, because by that point, once again, it was so late. I, this was never a problem before they switched over to this new company, and now it's a problem every time. So, that sucked. Anyway, okay, so after all that, what I did is I uh, set up my blood work um, here in town, and... Um, unfortunately, uh, my CEA went back up a little. Um, it's not a big deal. It could be a fluctuation because I feel good. I mean, I'm not tired, you know, I'm, I, I'm active. I, I look good. Everybody thinks I look great. So I don't feel sick. I'm not feeling pain. I'm not having issues. Um, but it went up to over a hundred and it was at 15, you know, and that's just the count of the, of the protein that counts how fast the tumor is moving. And if you haven't, et cetera, you can look it up, CEA tumor marker, you can Google it or whatever for a more, you know, perfection uh, definition and uh, explanation. Um, but yeah, it went back up a little bit. So um, now I changed my diet. I've changed my exercise regime. I've changed a few things. So I'm going to watch that. She didn't seem bothered because I guess my other numbers are still fine, you know, um, but she said some, and she actually said sometimes it fluctuates. But I got to be honest with you, it scared me a little bit. I was like, God, man. So I get back home. Um, Chuck, he's bringing me back from the hospital where I got my blood drawn. We pull up, and there's a car parked in my driveway, some random ass car. I'm like, oh, Are you kidding? Is someone in my house robbing me again? That was my first thought. You know, because I just got robbed last week. I say, Chuck, pull up behind him. See what the hell they're doing. You know, so he pulls his car up behind him. I get out of the car. I walk up, and there's somebody in the driver's seat. I don't care. You know, I just walk up. I'm like, hey, excuse me. What are you doing? What are you? And she puts her phone out. She's like taking pictures of the of the, the fence and like outside of the fence of the property. I was like, excuse me. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, uh, who are you? I was like, well, I live here. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm taking pictures for a bank. I was like, I was like, well, okay. And 
Not a company car. She was in like ratty clothes. No offense, lady. Her teeth were rotten and broken and missing. The car was filthy inside. I got robbed last week. It's some random ass car that I don't know. So my and I explained that to her too. I said, "Listen, I don't know who you are. My house got robbed just last week. They stole my meds. Who are you?" And she's like, "I'm from." I said, like, "Do you have like a card or like something so I can, you know, verify this?" Because and again, I told her my house got robbed. She basically said, "You can go fuck yourself. I don't have to tell you anything." Blah 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 blah. And Chuck, he's an older guy. He heard all of it. He couldn't believe it. He's like, he's like, what was that? She's, he's, he's like, that's the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen. So I was like, are you? I, I, and and I, I said wrong things at that point too. I, I told her to eat a dick. I did. I said, eat a dick, lady. Um, <laughs> and there's more. So as I'm trying to get some kind of information to make sure she's some kind of legitimate something. I say, now, okay, look, who are you? Just let me know who you are or give me somebody who can verify who you are. And I don't care. I said, I don't care. I was like, I just need to, my house just got robbed and I don't know you. You don't look like a professional anything. And she, again, but curses at me and tells me she didn't have to tell me shit. Blah. She's like, who are you? I was like, again, the renter. She's like, oh, so you're garbage. You're living in a dead guy's house. That makes you garbage. That's exactly what this lady said. She said, you're garbage. You're living in a dead guy's house. That was her exact... And when she said that, I used a very profane word. And I said, ma'am, you are a bang. And I walked away. I wanted to pull out of her freaking car at that point. That's a... What? What? A, what? What? what a, I felt like the whole world was all this axis yesterday. So... I go back to Chuck, and Chuck's like, and Chuck, he's, like I said, he's an older guy, he's like in his late 70s, and he heard the whole thing. He's like, what in the hell? He was already calling the cops. <sighs> he's like, dude, he's like, what What was that about? I was like, I have no idea. He's like, why was she cursing you out? I was like, because I asked her to tell me who she was. I was like, why was she taking pictures of the house on the property? So Chuck calls the cops, and as he's calling the cops, she's like, if you're calling the cops, I'm going to call the cops and say, you're keeping me locked in your house or locked in your driveway. We're both like, what is going on? What is it? It's Karen. It's a Karen. No offense, Karens. Uh, Jesus Christ. So, cops showed up, and I got a lecture on the laws of that someone can pull up to the edge of your property and take pictures all they want, and you can do nothing about it. That's not... I, I lost my temper. I lost my temper at the cops. I broke some shit down to them. They they knew I was right on something. They knew she was wrong. That's what sucks. This, this whole thing's insane. They were nice enough. I did. I was in. I was in a horrible mood at that point because from the beginning of that day, when that idiot said, "No, I ain't got to wear a mask. I ain't sick," I, and I had to cancel my ride to the hospital. From that point forward, so anyway, all that shit ended finally. And she left. I get home. Get home. I get there. I go to take a shower, and I slam my fingers in the freaking door. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on, man. I was like, "What? What did I do in the leg?" Like, but it just seemed weird. Even like when Chuck was driving, this lady flipped him off and almost ran into him. It really seemed like a lot of people were off their balance yesterday. You know, Thursday. So, the Thursday? Jesus, that was only yesterday. So, that's what's going on. And again, unfortunately, my uh, my CEA did go up. Um, I can't remember. Off the, I'll probably put a little picture in because I can't remember what she told me. I know it's on my records, though. Um, so, I'll post that. But... That's it. Um, other than that, I feel good. Dixie's doing a lot better. Aren't you, baby? Yeah, she's doing good. So, um, it was her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. 12 years old. Dixie, Dixie. Wee! I brought her a little present, a couple of presents. I got a, I, that'll be in here. You can watch this long-ass video. 